Let's meditate on a Tuesday. Yes, we're coming to the end of August 2024. And today is actually another triple eight portal day, 26 8 2024. And so it feels like we're coming to this end of endless <laughs> perpetual activations. And so I felt for today, it is important that we begin the process of integration. Of course, when we are elevating a lot, when we are shifting our frequencies up, 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 up and activating all kind of good stuff like the magic of the horse of the Yamenti that I understand is, is actually pronounced Amentai, which makes a lot of sense. And so it is very important to start integrating. The Homo Luminous, while on a new level of consciousness and also physical changes it needs to be integrated and so i'm inviting you to do it to something that may sound a bit interesting or funny depends where you are at i want to invite you today to connect to those triggers so as we are upgrading and as we are evolving we are still getting triggered and the triggers are obviously on a different level from 60. And so it is really important that we look at these triggers. So they happen to me, they happen to you. It doesn't really matter where you're at on your journey of awakening, but they happen. So let me take you today into actually the halls of the Yamentai and connect to those triggers but not from the perspective of I can't just take them away from you because obviously this is part of our awakening or heart awakening or practical awakening to the mystic heart or whatever name we want to give it but we can allow ourselves to see it and to embrace it and so we can consciously choose to to truly let those triggers go. So, if you're ready and you want to join me, please just close your eyes and focus on your breath. Inhaling deeply into the heart and exhale. Inhaling into the heart and exhale. And one more time, inhaling into the heart and exhaling. Notice now there's this beautiful sphere of heart energy all around you. And in this heart energy, we are just making a leap, a jump into the halls of the Amentai. The records of what is not written yet the records of our pure potential, the records that are unwritten, uncharted and new. To understand those triggers so that we can embrace them and truly evolve into our potential. So just Allow yourself to make that jump, that leap into the halls of the Amentai. So imagine you are there. It's just another realm of your consciousness. Another realm of you being connected and awakening to the mystic heart. Just another place of knowing your evolutionary self-mastery 
and to Homo Luminous, fully connected to your I am. And so just allow yourself to be in that timelines and realms of the halls of the Yama Empire. And then notice where is your entrance, the entrance of your very old, own halls of the Amentai, where you keep all these records of the unwritten, the pure and potential, the one where you are one, but also translated into a human experience of homo luminous. And so just enter that space. Might look like a cave or long, a long hallway. And you're just going through until you see this beautiful gate or portal. It takes your energy to open that. It's only for you. Nobody can open this. You can see the symbols and the signs and you feel this is you. So you may put your hand into the center or you may unlock it in your own way. But anyway, the doors are opening and you are entering. And you're entering and going to a place under a tree. This is a place to understand triggers from a higher perspective. So there is like an archive around and you just go there and meet your triggers and how to unlock, illuminate, embrace and to let them go. So your consciousness rises and you start having a choice what to do with these triggers. So begin by embracing the triggers that are true for you. The triggers of the victim, not being good enough included. The triggers of the church, including church and self. The triggers of the hypervigilance, living in constant fear of things that never happen. The triggers of the hero or the heroine who knows it always best. The triggers of the stickler who doesn't want to let go its own ways. The triggers of the restless and whatever you resonate to. Imagine these triggers like symbols, like hooks and embrace whatever triggers are coming to you. And as you embrace them, you find they may not always be related to you. 
Maybe the triggers just come and they are not personal. Maybe it's about also embracing where the triggers come from. May come from brokenness and pain. They may come from anger and fear. And so embrace that energy that actually triggers And then an embrace of both your triggers and where and how the triggers are triggered, the energy where they come from. You may notice things may not be the way you perceive them to be. And you start becoming really conscious of yourself within and without. You're getting now some beautiful keys and codes of your records of the unwritten and uncharted and unknown and un yet unlocked to illuminate to release, to let go. Now you're noticing how maybe some of these triggers just disappear in your new consciousness and how some triggers become really clear and you're actually taking them with them with you to get the keys and codes you have received to let go to see to embrace and to evolve into homo luminous in all levels of your being, the physical experience, the symbolic, the thoughts, the emotions, the senses, and your luminous field that is always one with the great I am.
it's time for us to leave the halls of the Amenti on your own. Taking those triggers that you're still choosing to learn from. Taking those keys and codes that allow you to move through, to truly evolve into that evolutionary self-mastery. Unique to you, but also collectively. Awakening to the mystic heart and fully integrating it into Homo Luminous, a new earth. And so, come out of your own little space in the halls of the Amentai. The door opens as you're reaching and you're closing it behind you. Now come back to the place where you entered and come back to where you are. Bringing back that illuminated and enlightened knowing about the triggers, but also the access, the keys and the codes that allow you to truly heal, to truly speak from the heart, to truly receive with the heart, through embracing where the energies come from, and maybe seeing this time, this particular space of evolution, of healing, of upgrading, in a different way and so jump back into where you are So just notice you are fully back with your understanding, new understanding of your triggers and how you can illuminate, embrace and evolve. And when you're ready, blink your eyes open and smile. Thank you for going with me on this journey today. Um, of course, I'm keen to hear how it worked for you. It looks like it's a little bit long. But if you're on it, I'm sure you can appreciate it. So, see you soon. And yes, there's much more music coming up. There's much more meditation coming up. And Sissy's going to join the meditations again, like we did a couple of years ago. So I'm very excited to see you next time, next Tuesday, together with Sissy, doing this beautiful meditation on a Tuesday with you. See you then, from my heart to yours. So. Mm -mm.